Hi everyone. Since the release of MuseScore 4 Beta with Muse Sounds, I've really enjoyed writing music and trying out the different sounds. I've tried to outline some good points and some places that could do with improving. It's human nature to focus on the things that are not quite right or that we wish could be better, but sometimes it's very beneficial to look back down that proverbial mountain and see how far we've climbed. So today I'm doing a comparison between the playback of MuseScore 3.6.2, the last stable release, with the MuseScore 4 Beta with Muse Sounds. As a comparison, I'm using some music I composed for Spitfire Audio's Bridgerton scoring competition. I didn't win, obviously, but it makes great material to compare these two. And it doesn't have everything, it's really just some strings, uh, there's a horn in there, a harp and a flute, uh, a couple of basic woodwinds, but, but it is amazing to hear and see the difference. The only changes I made to make sure that they both worked were to the pits and arco markings to play them back correctly, and I've not touched the dynamics or the volume faders. So let's have a listen. Let me know what you think in the comments. there is a huge difference and I almost can't imagine going back. To do the actual competition, I used Spitfire Audio's free BBC Symphony Orchestra Discover VST library in a door. But what I'm hearing here from MuseScore 4 is comparable, if not better in many situations. It's certainly more natural for a classically trained musician like myself to write notation than having to do everything with MIDI controllers. So for a similar situation, I would certainly start in MuseScore 4 and then perhaps add any VSTs if I think I needed them. I particularly love the space that we hear in the Muse sounds, which comes from those natural recordings in a great acoustic venue. 